Hi and welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Friday the 25th of June 2021. So another day, another short squeeze, small caps and cryptos uh, jump. Shorts uh, were squeezed for the fourth straight day. As regards to uh, the bubble, Von Greyes, uh, well worth uh, watching. Have a look on YouTube. He's uh, a gold bullion dealer, got his own bullion vault in the Swiss uh, mountains. So uh, well worth uh, looking at. Uh, his videos really knows his stuff as he says the Icarus wax of everything bubble is melting hubris is driving humans and markets ever higher and closer to the sun where one day the whole thing will start to melt it's just uh, a matter of time meanwhile in the implied volatility we're back down to the lows uh, down at the 1253 level as uh, you can see there and uh, news uh, for today, well, it's a quiet one today. After a week of uh, central bankers, uh, we've got uh, the core PCE uh, price index from the US at 1.30. And then 3 p.m., we've got the revised UOM consumer sentiment. And uh, that uh, takes care of the news for today and for the week. So let's have a look at uh, yesterday. We'll start off with the Dow and we'll start off with the daily chart. Uh, which uh, you can see here yesterday driving to the upside for uh, the Dow and uh, all the way up to the 20 bar moving average and the 78% retracement overnight. So price is uh, marching back having retraced 62% from the low over here, which uh, you can see there. So from this low to this high projected back is where the market stopped and has then uh, turned around and moved to the upside. So now we're from uh, this high to this low projected back so these are the fibs on the upside and yet again once again they're bringing the market back as they always do as they keep saying buy the dip and uh, you'll see here yesterday the market uh, fairly quiet in the pre-market session just coming off the dp yesterday morning you can see the pullback there and then the market just uh, trading quietly and then as the market opened, unlike uh, normal where the market uh, sells off, but we had some good news uh, yesterday with the, uh, uh, which one was it, GDP numbers, and then uh, prices obviously moving higher off this. But uh, trading sideways, you can see we've got the risk retracement there, and then stuck in a sideways move. And then Biden's d infrastructure deal was uh, released, and uh, you'll see the market then uh, moving higher into the close. So uh, a bit of a normal pattern there, actually. Overnight price is way above the DP and sitting at uh, yesterday's high at the moment. As uh, we've seen in the daily charts, and just see that, and you can see that uh, we just need to get above that 78 and then the 89, which is uh, quite achievable given there's no news. You just need uh, some sort of other news, whether it's made up or not a rumor, just to move the markets to the upside. So in the... German DAX, uh, the daily chart, uh, we can see that we're starting to move back here as well to the 20 bar moving average. Uh, we can see that uh, we've got the upside targets here, which are drawn in from here to here projected back. However, what you can do, because this bar here sits on its own, and we've got an inside bar for yesterday, if you get the markup tool, and then we just click twice on the top of this, it will actually draw in the fibs to the upside just to cover this small move back to the upside there. So what I'll do is just remove those fibs that where the market's already gone through like this. And again, we can see we're at 78% here. We need to get through that 89 and I shouldn't imagine that's too difficult to do. Then we've got the high of this bar and then the two fibs here that we need to go through. Now, this is the important one, the 89 level 15747 so make a note of that one and also just apply it to the chart in whatever time frame you're actually trading so yesterday uh, we can see that the markets uh, let's just go back to the futures because the market uh, moved higher just as i was finishing recording yesterday and came back in uh, this area here you can see that we came back rallied back and then we had a bit of a sell-off to begin with uh, it didn't last long you see them buying in here at the 200 ma and then prices moving high but uh, then failing to move higher 
uh, trading sideways and then selling off down for 40 points. Now I've covered this trade in more detail in the member section of the website and I'll put a link in uh, the email. So there's the sideways move and then uh, we get some other news and prices then just uh, explode to the upside and move higher and then through uh, the morning come back to the DP fairly quiet uh, the 130 news didn't really do a lot for the market either the, the jobless claims uh, market just retracing again back to the 200 and then in the afternoon just sideways really really quiet uh, which given that the Dow was more or less doing the same again you can see we're just stuck in these sideways ranges and eventually prices broke to the downside but it was not really much of a move because this is uh, 50 points between the two lines so you know 25 point move and then again reacting to Biden's infrastructure deal moving up but then coming back so overnight uh, for the DAX uh, the market uh, sitting above the DP and the 200 MA there uh, finding support once more at uh, this level you can see the cluster of volume there things starting to pick up a bit at the moment and also we're through yesterday's high so I'll look at this in the bigger time frame in the 30 minute and you can see exactly um, where we are there moving to the upside and uh, yesterday's action as well moving up and then uh, back down for 830 and then all the way up and then just trending up but again you know as you come step back and look at the daily chart you'll see why and let's just have a quick look at the five minute chart so again the same pattern yesterday and overnight uh, just gets rid of a few price bars and let's just compress this and have a look at uh, where we are in the sort of uh, micro picture as it were so we're above uh, yesterday's high we're above the 200 we're above the dp on the upside we've got the r1 the r2 again have a look at these areas tie these in with the the daily chart uh, we've got uh, six nine six seven four two was the uh, number wasn't it which uh, there we go the r3 area is where you've got that 89 percent retracement in the daily chart this number here is uh, tying in with this so the r3 in this chart in any chart any time frame you're looking at will be the uh, 89% in the daily where the market would likely stop it's just a matter of getting there that's the uh, the main thing and then finally in the metals uh, we'll start off with uh, the silver market uh, no uh, slam to the downside yesterday struggled to move higher came off the highs before the close but uh, up on the overnight market this morning so at the moment without uh, tempting fate uh, the market finding support at that 2750 at the moment uh, inside the 15 minute chart so you can see that we had a bit of demand there the market uh, moving to the upside bit of selling coming in in this bar but uh, you can expect that as you reach some sort of resistance area there as well and a bit more detail in the five minute again in a sideways move the new signals or observations indicator whatever you want to call them picks up that buying and selling that you get in a sideways move shows you when they're when they're buying when they're selling when they're buying back when they're selling you can see the demand there and demand there and then demand there as it uh, comes back down to complete that sort of sideways move and then prices bouncing off this and going through in the gold market uh, also stuck in this sideways move at the moment basel 3 on monday will be interesting expiration of the july silver market futures on tuesday and in the gold market in the 30 minute there as well you can see uh, prices are just trying to break above the dp level there meanwhile the dollar index is uh, sideways and I don't think this is up to date actually. No, that says the 23rd of June uh, for this. So there's obviously an issue with ETX and the dollar index. So I can't give you an update on that. It doesn't look right. I'd expect that to be uh, moving slightly sideways to lower and a bit more lower today, uh, given what's happening in gold there. So I don't know what's happened to the ETX uh, dollar index. Let's just have a, a quick look, see if we can see if it's updated here and it's just not updating in the software um, 
let's have a look. No, that's uh, the 23rd as well. So no, there's a problem there, unless I've got the wrong contract. No, it's a September contract, so I don't know. But uh, not to worry. Uh, but if gold and silver are moving up, then the dollar's uh, moving down. Uh, that's all that matters as I'm currently along the silver market. Okay, that will do for this one. If there is anything else to report, I will let you know. But uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.